Morning. Looks like I left the hazards running all night. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm surprised it's still got some juice. We'll get her started and let that charge back up. Good grace, just gotta have the thumb of Thor. Oh, man. Dang it. That's my bad. Let that charge for a bit. We're gonna feed a bale to some cows real quick. I better let Ellie out, otherwise I'll open the door miles away from the home farm and she'll run out and not know where she is and won't want to go back in, so. She hates moving vehicles. So this pasture we come to a lot. We're just right over there. Dad picked up a tree branch over there. We're in the cemetery field right next to the cemetery. A couple days ago I said Dad was helping pour some concrete over here. This was the slab they poured. If only all that could have been avoided. How do it work? Uh... I eat breakfast and I go out and do stuff. Oh, the drill? Yeah, the drill. Um, you put it in the ground and it turns. Let's another plug. Yeah, that's a... So last video we introduced this piece of equipment briefly. Um, Dad has a problem with buying and selling equipment and so we've had <laughs> two drills previous to this and here's our third one in the last two years. But notice a trend. Every time I get a smaller one because I feel like I'm making money. We're making money when we buy a bigger one or we sell a bigger one for a smaller one. First one we had was 30 foot. Bought it for 62000 uh huh. And then the second one we had was a 25 footer. It was kind of free. We got a we got a brand new 25 foot drill and a brand new fertilizer spreader. But we traded in a used drill and a used fertilizer spreader. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then this last one we traded a 25 foot crustbuster drill for this 20 foot Landall. This one's used, by the way, right? It's, it's got, only got 600 and some acres. Uh huh. It. And did and you make money on I that pocketed one? pocketed. Uh, I don't know, twenty some thousand. So we may or may not have made money in the course. Made the of money. Inflation. Oh, I made money. Okay. And so we're gonna try to figure out how to run like this. The government, they're making money every day. I think they're losing more money. They're spending money. <laughs> I was wondering how you went so fast. Mm, want to start there? <laughs> A little light reading, I see. Here goes nothing. Our neighbor across the way, this is his field. They tore out our fence, did some dirt work, and they're helping both us and themselves out. With all that dirt work, the grass isn't gonna come very well. So we're filling half this drill, so 10 foot worth, with seed. We're gonna set an A-B line so it's all straight and then come back and then start drilling. A, we're gonna drive to the other corner post, hit B, and then turn around and then we'll start drilling. There's a little rain shower going to the south of us. Tomorrow's when we're supposed to get our big rain. It's supposed to start tomorrow and go into Saturday as well. 
we're hoping to get two inches that would help us a lot definitely gonna need more rain not too far after that two inches it's gonna soak right in and honestly probably look like we never even got anything a couple weeks later so we're getting down here gonna hit my set B and then we'll spin around fill her with seed and start drilling So now we're gonna spin around and go back. We'll make it so we're off a little bit so it's thicker. Plus, you know, two passes is better than one. There's a storm over there. Slappy. Push the seed down into the little feed cups here so you can make it the rest of the way. You can see they didn't go empty yet. Now there's a rain shower to the north of us so much energy in the air that things keep popping up it seems like i wonder if we'll ever get one so this next thing we're gonna do today is gonna be awesome a couple days ago i took down some wires and so they're laying on the ground some old fence and we're actually gonna use the wire winder for the first time it'll be either disappointing or really sweet God, I needed fuel. At least I remembered before we left. The calendar says plant, but we're going to rip out fence. So we got a half mile stretch. I got the wire disconnected from the fence. We're first going to pull all these posts so they're out of the way and then get winding. We got this in the mail the other day. We got the factory one and the homemade one. Yeah, so we don't want this guy to feel butt hurt. <laughs> Dad says we'll switch in between with and try this one. pulled out and then starting at this corner headed back the other way is where we drilled that seed a little bit ago so I'll pick these up and then we'll start rolling the part I want to see you know see if it works here it is the time we've all been waiting for
So do you have any ideas for the song of the day? No, but I remember a few weeks ago, a fifth grader sent me an email. An email, and he said, your wire winder's not gonna work. Uh -huh. It works pretty good so far. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe you spin me right round, baby. Okay. And then I thought, well, for the younger ones, like the fifth grader that don't know what works and what don't, we could say, uh, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay. You go back to school and learn something. <laughs> It's working so far. We we are running into, you know, it'll be stuck on a post yet or something, but other than that, it's going pretty decent. Are you proud of me dad now dad do you love me i built something with my own hands and it worked can you build something to replace me give me 20 years that takes a lot of work out of this stuff here Cody. Certainly the highlight of my day, it worked. Instead of buying one for six grand, I built one with a cheap $2,000 and 30 hours of labor. So now this 160 acres has zero fence on two sides of it and some crappy fence on the other two. So we just gotta tear out another mile of fence and then put in two miles of fence and we'll be able to run cows on our corn stock this fall. Hopefully that rain's still planning on coming. We're gonna till one more field that's 100 acres to finish out the day. Bye, Ellie. You can see all kinds of cow pies out here, as my buddy from college would call them landmines. I don't, I don't know why. We're over at Jeff's place, and his and my cattle were out here a long time, so. We're just leveling those out, incorporating some manure into the dirt, soil. These hoses are annoying me. When I turn and that gets going, it starts putting a lot of stress on them. Two hours in, looks like Dad's gonna take over and finish. He'll be done in probably another hour and a half, closer to two hours. So while I was explaining how to run that thing to Dad, he told me he's got bad news. I'll show it to you when I get home. He looked like somebody died. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? My pride and joy has been damaged. Oh, Nelly, you see how 
these do not line up very well so he went to sp spread it out to dump that wire and then it was clicked in such a fashion that it was putting constant force in and so once he let off when he was trying to make it spread the wire had fallen off but it was in the middle and then he crunched it down and now it sprung it something's bent oh man right here you can see that this tube bent under some sort of stress but I think that side's fine and that's kind of unfortunate because this is the side with all the plumbing so yeah you hate to see it I'm not mad I'm just disappointed so I think I'm gonna have to uh, torch that off torch this off which is gonna make this not line up at all so I'm gonna have to take that off pretty much gonna have to just redo this whole side over here because it's just not gonna line up but yeah I think this side is just fine actually now that I look at it it seems like it bent at this point right here because it should be about going like that but it's like this now I'm not sure why this tube is bent right here I was thinking it got kinked somehow but I don't understand that now I'm thinking if I just torch this weld off around here and then just set that back straight we'll have something that'd be a pretty quick one we love you I just wanted a hug hey get back here before we call it a day we got a little seed left and there's a spot here at home that I want to drill There's about a one acre little pen here. Originally dad and I fenced this off because we wanted to plant grass in it, open it up just for the calves so the calves could get away from their mom, away from their mom's poop and all those diseases. And we tried getting the grass in a really dry time of the year and it didn't work. There is some grass along the edges that did come up. We're gonna try one more time to get that grass in before this bigly rain. Herefords are liking it. Ready for that rain well anyway that's today's video we got a lot of different things going on did some drilling did some fencing did some tilling hit that subscribe button and also if you already hit the subscribe button and you want to help us out a little bit more right next to that button is the bell and when you hit that bell and set all notifications on you get notified every time we upload and that helps us when you guys click on new videos real fast so when I wake up in the morning it better be raining and if it's not I'll be crying. We'll start planting hopefully next week and then hang season's right around the corner. So we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Only about 14 hours late, but it's finally starting. Also, it only took four hours, but it's back, baby. It's alive.